going to be doing a water clock. Do you know what a water clock is? Well, let me explain. So, the water clock was used like thousands of years ago in 4000 BC. It's very ancient. So, the materials you'll need are one cup of water, a cup, a jar, some string, um, a bell, and a big cap, and a skewer, and you'll need a popsicle stick, but I don't have a popsicle stick, so uh, I just cut a plate and strip and tape them together. Alright, so let's get started and put all of these to the side. So, alright guys, so for this part, I poked a hole inside the cap and put the thread and made a knot so it doesn't come out. And then I tied the bell with the knot onto it. And as you can see, I made it just so it was less than the length of the cup. You see, that is less than the length of the cup. And then, so for the next part, you get your cup, your jar, and your cup, put it like that. Actually, before you do that, you put with the skewer, you poke a hole inside like that, and then uh, you put it inside like this, and then you get your popsicle stick or just your plate thing you made out of that. And then you actually, so then you put this inside, and then put this like that. Yes. So and then you pour the water. So here's a quick science fact. We learned about time. So the time is how much time it takes from the water from this container to transfer from this container and the time for it by using the stopwatch. And when all the water comes down, the bell will drop to signal us that the time has run out. So let's wait a little more now. Thank you.